Hello everyone, patching into today's third video, we're going to have a look at the ECMWF Metro France and DWD seasonal models for today's uh, third video. This is going to take us through the next three tri-monthly periods. So you go from uh, the tri-monthly period for July, August, September, all the way through to uh, September, October, November, through to autumn uh, 2019 with this update. So we'll see what uh, all three models have got to say about uh, how they're forecasting whether to progress over the next three months very shortly. Just say that we released some more autumn analogs to get out of this, this morning. So uh, have a look at that video. It's on the homepage right now. Later on today, will be placed on the autumn updates and forecast page. Um, also, get out of this Sunday roundup. So uh, that's an interesting watch. That's also on the homepage. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right now, I've got a little bit of a tickle in my throat uh, to, uh, this afternoon. Uh, tonight, we're recording the video. Uh, so I may have to stop and have a little drink of uh, water. Well, those two videos are on the homepage right now, and later on today, the uh, autumn update will be placed on the autumn updates and forecast page, and there'll be a written summary that goes with it as well. Right, let's get on with the video then. Let's start off by having a look at the mean sea level pressure anomalies from Metro France for the next three months. Then we'll have a look at the corresponding temperature and precipitation anomalies, and then we'll carry on through the ECM and the uh, DWD. So starting with the mean sea level pressure anomaly from Metro France for the trimonth period of uh, July, August and uh, September 2. This is uh, what we see. So it's going for an anomalous ridge of above average heights, high pressure to be out to the northwest of the country. And there's no particular trough of low pressure, but you will think there's probably going to be a trough through there. Um, so uh, you will think somewhere across central parts of Europe is probably some sort of trough of low pressure. It looks like it could be relatively cool as well because the winds would like to be coming around that ridge kind of like from a northeasterly direction. Uh, then we go through to the next tri-monthly period. This one taking us through August, September, October. And uh, the ridge is still there. The area of high pressure is still out to the north and to the northwest of us. So a bit of a northern blocking feature now becoming established uh, as we go further in towards the, um, into the early part of the autumn. So high pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland. And again, you probably expect some sort of trough of low pressure to be around here. But there's nothing particularly evident in terms of low pressure. But obviously the jet stream has got to be sort of travelling in that kind of direction, you would have thought. And within that dip in the jet stream, you'll think there's likely to be a trough of low pressure. Let's have a look at the next tri-monthly period. This one taking us uh, through the whole of the autumn, actually, September, October, November. By this point, the area of high pressure is kind of like centred up towards Iceland. Um, so it's a little bit weaker, though, but there's definitely still high pressure being centred to our north northwest. Again, no particular uh, low pressure on this chart, but I would have thought there's likely to be low pressure through here, and I would have thought the jet stream is likely to be on a southerly track too. And uh, potentially we're bringing in pretty cool sort of north northeasterly winds uh, once again. So that could be quite a coolish uh, signal for the autumn actually, and maybe a little bit more unsettled than you might anticipate. Let's have a look at the temperature anomalies that go with that. So this is the temperature anomaly from Metro France for uh, July, August, September. For the far northwest of Europe, so for Scandinavia, UK, Ireland, close to average with the temperature anomaly. Otherwise, it's sort of above average, really, for most parts of Europe. This model's going for a very, very hot summer uh, last month, though. So it has moderated that a lot, I have to say. This is a big sort of back down from Metro France on its really hot uh, summer forecast that it's going for last year. Albeit this is kind of like late summer, but it's definitely backed away very significantly from those much warmer than average temperature anomalies. Most parts of Europe are kind of like now around a degree above average. For the UK and for Ireland, we're actually sort of very close to average. Then we go through to the next trimonthly period, which is uh, August, September, October. Again, you see very weak temperature anomalies, really the warmest temperature anomalies are kind of like across southern Europe and also down in the southeast and the east out to the northwest. We're kind of like very close to average or just a little bit, uh, just a little bit above average, if you like, or coming out very close to average. 
And then the final tri-monthly period is for September, October, November. Again, for the northwest of Europe, so for Scandinavia, for the UK, for Ireland, close to average with those temperature anomalies or no signal. And for this model, for these models, long-range models, that's a relatively cool anomaly for the autumn, actually. Elsewhere, it's kind of like a little bit above average, but not especially so, not particularly so. Um, this is definitely a cooler update from Metro France, albeit it's still going either sort of slightly above average in most parts of Europe or around average for the far northwest. Uh, this our precipitation is looking uh, from Metro France. So again, this is the precipitation only for July, August, September. It's uh, looking dry of an average out to the northwest of us and also down to the southwest of us. Elsewhere, very, very weak precipitation anomalies with no uh, particular signal. The next trimonthly period is uh, August, September, October. Again, this is indicative of uh, high pressure being around Iceland. So it's driving average up towards high Iceland. And obviously, we've got high pressure up there. Otherwise, again, very close average. No particularly uh, wet or dry signal anywhere. Just uh, very weak signals at that point. When we go through to September, October, November... Uh, for the autumn of 2019. Uh, again, we see that normal blocking signaling evidence with Metro France driving average around Iceland. It does hint at being a little bit wetter than average through some of these uh, northwestern parts of the country. It's a very weak signal. Um, but again, with that northern blocking, you'll probably expect low pressure uh, and a dip in the jet stream to be going on. So if you've got high pressure sitting up here, you will probably be expecting the jet to be something a little bit like that. So this area, you will think, is probably going to be wet and average and probably quite cool too, probably quite cold actually. So it could be an early winter for Scandinavia. Let's see, uh, let's see how the ECMWF is looking in comparison. So again, mean sea level pressure anomaly starting off with July, August, September. ECM has a ridge of above average heights. High pressure is close to the UK and much of uh, sort of Northern Europe as well. So that's a much drier signal. Also a warmer signal too. It will be sending the jet stream northwards. So it's not sort of high pressure out to the northwest. It's high pressure centered almost over the top of the country for uh, that first tri-monthly period to start us off. This is August, September, October. For this tri-monthly period, the area of high pressure kind of like sits out in the middle of the Atlantic, so a bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge. Um, could be rather cool and a little bit on the unsettled side, perhaps with a bit of a dip in the jet stream. Jet stream going through something a bit like that, maybe. And then we go through to the uh, next tri-monthly period, all change. This is September, October, November. And this looks more westerly. It's got uh, low pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland. Uh, the last vestiges of the mid-Atlantic ridge left there in the centre of the Atlantic are probably just pushing the westerlies through. So you get through to the autumn, quite an unsettled signal, albeit we don't really see that for the trimonthly period of, of October. Of, um, we don't really see it for the trimonthly period of August, September, October. So it implies that the early part of the autumn may be quite settled, but then later on in the autumn probably particularly November, it goes very, very unsettled indeed. Temperature anomalies from the ECM uh, look like this. So generally a little bit on the uh, warmer than average side for the northwest of Europe, with around half a degree above average. Central and eastern parts of Europe are kind of like half a degree to one degree above average. It's not desperately warm, but it is a little bit milder uh, than what the uh, Metro France is showing. Uh, August, September, October, again, very weak uh, temperature anomalies, really uh, close to average or no signal for the UK and Ireland. Otherwise, it's just a little bit uh, milder than average for most parts of Europe. And then for the autumn itself, temperature anomalies for the autumn of 2019, September, October, November, look like that. Warmest in the east, so Scandinavia down towards the Black Sea, that's where we've got the warmest temperature Anomaly is should be central western areas. We're close to average or hinted to be a little bit uh, above average. Precipitation anomalies again for July, August, September. Very, very close to average. Really weak signals or no signal if you like. Also a little bit drier perhaps out in the west of Europe. Otherwise, 
Again, not much to see. You would expect it to be driving average, though, of course, with high pressure coming like centered over top of the UK. Uh, then we go through to August, September, October. And uh, if anything, it might be, uh, it might still be a little bit driving average down to southwest of us. Further north, maybe just starting to go a little bit on the wetter side. Um, but again, really, really weak signals, as you always get with precipitation with these season models. Then we get through to September, October, November, and it does start to become more unsettled then. So above average uh, rainfall here across Scandinavia, also down into the North Sea too, implying that uh, it probably is turning more unsettled, turning wetter for Scandinavia, turning snowier as we go deeper into the autumn, perhaps. And then finally, we come to uh, the DWD. This is the German model, of course. So again, we've got mean sea level pressure anomalies to start us off, beginning with uh, July, August, September. And uh, again, a bit of a blocking signal up to our north, interestingly, kind of in line with what Metro France has shown, but maybe a little bit more so. Again, there's no particular trough of low pressure evident, but you would have thought through this white area, there's probably going to be a trough through there, as uh, and probably a trough there as well. So the pattern is that the uh, jet stream is going to be doing something a little bit like that. If this is right, of course, it'll do something like that. So you would have thought that's a relatively cool and unsettled sort of latter part of the summer. Let's progress on, see what DWD does then. So uh, this is the trimetric period for August, September, October. Again, in playing a bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge, you've got some high pressure building through the Atlantic and still going up towards green to some degree. It's blocking over here, uh, and they've got some low pressure actually sitting just to the east of us, kind of like through the North Sea and into Denmark. That could be quite a cool wet pattern, bring the wind in from a northerly direction, perhaps, and quite unsettled too. And then the final tri-monthly period is for September, October, November. That trough of low pressure is deepening over Scandinavia. Uh, we've got the Mid-Atlantic Ridge still there to some degree and going up towards uh, Greenland. Again, it's sort of like quite a cold and unsettled pattern potentially. Maybe quite a chilly autumn coming up if this is right. But bear in mind the um, ECM didn't really show this. This is the DWD and Metro France both kind of implying that uh, we may go into something rather cool. Possibly a bit unsettled as well as we get through to the autumn. And, uh, of course, with this low pressure here across uh, Scandinavia, that could bring early winter conditions to Scandinavia. You do have quite a, pe quite a few people watching in Scandinavia. I know a lot of you uh, want early winter conditions over there in Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway. That might be quite good for you, if that's what you want. Uh, temperature anomalies, then, uh, looking like this. So we start off with above average temperature anomalies across northern parts of Europe. Otherwise, uh, with DWD, it's just very close to average. It does look a little bit cooler compared to the other models, though. There's some slightly cooler than average temperature anomalies there through Biscay, and also some slightly cooler than average temperature anomalies through other parts of the Mediterranean as well. So this model certainly looks a little bit cooler compared to the other two not that the other two were all that warm but certainly this one is uh is the coolest of the three i think uh this is uh august september october and uh, again it was quite warm over scandinavia interestingly also going into western parts of russia uh elsewhere it's kind of like the central western uh, parts of Europe, we've got uh, close to, or maybe to get being slightly cooler than average temperature anomalies. And then we get through to the autumn itself. This is September, October, November. So by then, Scandinavia is kind of like getting close to average, at least those southern parts. Scandinavia are, are looks relatively warm across the eastern part of Europe, the far east of Europe. Again, otherwise, no signal or close to average or maybe even hinting at being a little bit cooler than average. It definitely looks like a cooler sort of second half to the year from these models, really. Although the other two are kind of like slightly above average with their temperature anomalies. But really, this doesn't look, to me, but really between the lines, it does look rather cooler, uh, especially as we're going into the autumn. Finally, precipitation-wise for this update, this is how we're looking for uh, July, August, September. So... 
the central and northern parts of Europe actually hinting at being uh, slightly above average with precipitation anomalies. The Mediterranean looking relatively dry and also looks relatively dry out to the northwest. Let's go through to the next tri-monthly period, which takes us to August, September, October. You see it's turning more unsettled generally across northern parts of Europe. That's about trough of low pressure is developing. So, really from the UK and Ireland over towards the Baltic, it looks generally uh, wetter than average, and also wetter than average um, across France and also into parts of Germany and Poland too. Southern parts of Europe look drier. And then we finish up really quite wet, actually, with the DWD. This is the precipitation normally for the autumn of 2019, and it does look substantially above average, really, across many parts of northern and Western Europe. So a wet old autumn coming up, if this is right, and quite cold too, um, maybe with the potential for some northern winds, and maybe with some early wintry potential, dare I say it, by the time we get through to uh, to November. Uh, further south, it looks like Mediterranean is relatively dry, so a reasonable dry and warm autumn coming up there. So quite an interesting update this actually from uh, these three seasonal models. They do look rather cooler, I have to say, for uh, not just the UK, but for much of Northern Europe actually now uh, over the second half of uh, the year. It looks like we gradually turn things colder and more unsettled as we get to the autumn as well, maybe surprisingly. But there we go, that's what the uh, long range models are showing um, this month. Now, these three models will form part of the first season model roundup for the autumn of 2019. We'll be doing that on Saturday. The first season model roundup for the autumn of 2019 will be on Saturday. We'll get something like nine or ten long range models together and see what they're all showing for the first time this season. And uh, as I say that's going to be with you um, on Saturday. Uh, and these three models will form part of that update. So it'll be interesting to see what those other models are showing for the autumn uh, in comparison to these three. But certainly this is quite an interesting update, I think, turning increasingly unsettled, but also increasingly cool. That seems to be the signal as we get into the autumn. Right, don't forget to check out the Autumn Analogues if you haven't yet done so. And uh, also, the guys have been around. Both videos are on our homepage. The Autumn uh, um, Analogues update will be placed on the Autumn Updates to Forecast page later on today. Next Sunday, we've got the Winter 2019-2020 NAO forecast coming up. Really, really big update for you uh, next Sunday at Gazwavids. All right, that's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.